I love this comment in the direction that many of the comments have been going lately on my videos around dating. I love talking about dating after we've healed from the trauma of an avoidant anxious dance, or maybe we dated an avoidant and they brought out our anxious attachment and we have healed now and we're in the dating world and we do not want to repeat what we just went through. We want to be shrewd and savvy and also tender and open to more emotionally advanced people. And so it's really hard to not allow our trauma and our fear to A, scare us away from ever wanting to date again, but also go out there and date people and preclude that attachment style in the future because it has caused us so much pain. So how can we tell someone's attachment style in the very beginning? This is such a good question. I honestly think that you can tell it from a very simple gauge of communication. How well are they communicating with you? Are they talking about feelings? Are they talking about not just a scenario? Like with my avoidant ex-partner on our first date, he would he was telling me about his marriage and how it ended. And he was telling me about very vague events that happened, f vague feelings he was having. Like, for example, we just outgrew each other or we were making each other sick. And when I would probe and try to understand more, he would stop the communication. That shows you that he's avoidant. That shows you that he's uncomfortable with emotions and that maybe he hasn't even processed the emotional side of it. He's just looked at the pragmatics. Whereas when I've dated anxiously attached people or more securely attached people, they have no problem going into how they felt about a certain event or circumstance, how it made them feel scared, how it made them feel alive, how it made them feel like for the first time somebody actually saw their heart and could hold them and could hold it. Like those are all indications that in their communication that they are in touch with their emotions, they can label emotions, they can name emotions, and they're not scared of them. They have an emotional intelligence. I also love asking them, like if you're out here and you know your attachment style, don't you want your next partner to know his or her attachment style? Like baseline, this should be a requirement. For me, it is like if you don't know about attachment theory, if you have not read about relationships or you don't understand, you don't have enough self-awareness to know what your attachment style is, at least be articulate enough to in your communication with me be so open and detailed that you that I can tell what your attachment style is even if you don't know it I can tell what it is and I also think time giving it time giving the relationship time not rushing into things and learning who they are and then you will know